Wilhelm Conrad Rankin was born in Lennep, Germany on March 27, 1845. He grew up in Apeldoorn, Holland, and attended a boarding school called the Institute of Martinus Hermann van Dorn. He was always interested in nature and spent his free time outdoors. His talent was building mechanical devices. He then passed the test to attend the University of Zurich, and Rankin studied physics, mechanical technology, and mathematics there. He graduated in 1869 with a Ph.D. and was assigned August Kunt's lab assistant. Rankin continued to travel with him during Kunt's studies. During his career, he bounced around a few different jobs, but in the end, he stuck to being the chair of physics at the University of Munich. He worked on several things like studying the specific heats of gases, the thermal conductivity of crystals, the characteristics of quartz, and the spreading of oil drops on water. His personality was very modest, fair, and he often understood the difficulties of others. He also preferred working alone and often made his own machinery. He passed away in Munich on February 10, 1923, at age 77, due to a cancer that was arising in his intestine. His discovery of x-rays on November 8, 1895 led him to his Nobel Prize. He discovered that if a cathode ray discharge tube was placed in a black carton in a dark room, a paper plate coated with barium platinum cyanide became fluorescent in the rays no matter how far away the plate was. X-rays work because they are a higher frequency than the visible light that we can see. The electrons in the atoms of X-rays make bigger jumps between orbitals, therefore emitting a lot more energy. Softer tissues like our skin and organs cannot absorb these higher energy rays and therefore show up black on modern day X-ray images. However, our denser tissues can and show up white. The first Rankinogram was when Rankin's wife's hand got in the path of the rays and showed up transparent on the photographic plate. The name Rankinogram was soon changed to X-rays because of their unknown nature. X-rays quickly drew a lot of attention in the medical community and were soon used for things like making a diagnosis. He won many awards for his discovery, his most well-known being the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1901. There was also an element named after him on the periodic table, Rankinium. I believe that Rankin did deserve his Nobel Prize because x-rays have had such a great impact to this day. X-rays give us the opportunity to make millions of diagnoses, saving lives day by day. They even proved to be useful on the battlefield of major wars like World War I and the Boer War for finding fractures and bullets. Another medical use for these rays is electrotherapy. Electrotherapy provides relief from real or imaginary pains found to even cure some recurring cancers. Although some negative side effects were found from frequent exposure to radiation, they are known to be very unlikely and safe precautions are now taken to prevent exposure, like using a lead apron and having lead walls in a hospital. Another reason why I believe Rankin deserved the Nobel Prize is because of his modest and very giving personality. He never sought to receive any awards or praise, and he even declined most awards. This often led to him declining large amounts of money and recognition because he never accepted any patents for money and decided not to keep the x-rays named after himself as rontgenograms. He wanted all of his earnings to benefit humanity and others. He donated everything to his fund called the Rankin Fund and was actually found to be bankrupt at the time of his death.